Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Ben, and this is part six to our Risk of Flame tutorial series. And we're gonna actually put some bullets in this game. So let's create a sprite, and we'll call it Sprite Bullet. And we'll come into the sprite. I'm gonna make it, uh, let's do a width of four and a height of two. And the only reason I'm drawing this image is because it should be pretty easy. I'm just going to make it yellow and paint, color it in, and basically be done. So I'm gonna center that image, and I'm gonna create a bullet object. Object, bullet. And Let me think how I want to do this. Let's uh, let's give it that sprite, and let's give it a collision, add event, collision with uh, solid. Now remember, uh, the dirt object has the solid object as a parent, so anything that we give a collision with the solid object will also count for collisions with the dirt object. And what do we want to do? Just instance, destroy, We'll just get rid of this bullet once it collides with the dirt. And we'll give it a negative depth, negative, I don't know, one. I think that's what our player is. Negative one, yep. And we're going to give the player a new variable and we'll call this uh, bullets equals three. And Let's come into let's come into our three shot and let's look at a few things. Okay, so this one fires at five. The next one fires nine. And well let's do four, eight, and twelve. That's easy to remember. Four, eight, and twelve. So now let's come into our three shot here and let's do in the step event. We're actually gonna write some code in here now instead of this just preventing the, the step event for the player. We're gonna do if bullets is greater than or equal to, well let's do greater than four else if bullets is greater than eight, else if bullets is greater than 12, and I totally messed this up, but, and you're probably laughing at me if you've ever done any programming before. <laughs> so um, this should be if bullets is greater than uh, two, this should be one, and this should be zero. But we're also gonna throw another case into each of these. So if, let's see, and image index is greater than four. This is where we want the four, eight, and 12. So what's going to happen here is somewhere I've messed something up. Bullets is greater than zero. Oh, this is the wrong direction. Okay. So what's going to happen here? It's going to check. Do we have at least three bullets? Yes, we do. It's greater than two. Do we have at least three bullets? Yes, we do. Is our image index larger than the fourth image? Yes, which means how are we firing basically in the image? Yes. Well, then we're going to create a bullet object, right? Create bullet. 
So each of these is going to check to make sure that we have um, to make sure that we have the bullet and then to make sure that we're at the right image index. And uh, at the animation end, we're actually going to, after we change, because the interesting thing is, uh, even after changing into a new object, this is so cool to me when I figured this out, even after changing into a new object, it still continues to run this code as the new object, which just blew me away, but it's really cool. So we're going to do uh, bullets equals three. We'll just set bullets right back to three again. Okay, now we're going to actually create the bullets. So we do have a case because we can be facing left or right. And so actually come into your player again, your actual player object, and we're going to have a new create event and we're going to call this or we're going to create a variable called um, b and just set it equal to negative one and that's just going to be our bullet variable and come back into the three shot again and in here we're going to do b equals instance create X. Uh, yeah. Create X Y object bullet. Okay. And bullets minus equals one. So we're going to copy this code down into each one of these as well. So every single one of them should be the exact same right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a check. And what's this check going to be? We're going to check which direction the player is facing. If, let's see, check direction. Uh, if image x scale equals 1. Which direction are we facing if the image x scale equals 1? We're facing to the right. What are we going to do? We're going to set the bullets direction to the right. So di uh, b. So here's the thing. When we create this bullet, we're actually assigning that bullet to a variable so that we can access it later. So b dot direction. So what does that say? This is access. This is the <laughs> accessing the direction of the bullet object we just created. And if we're facing the right, that is zero. Then we're just going to have an else in here. Else b dot direction equals uh, 180, which is to the left in our nice, lovely polar coordinate system. So copy both of those, or copy it down to both of these. So this code's looking kind of crazy, but I knew this part was going to be a little trickier, so if you need to pause here, make sure you've got all the code the same, go ahead. Uh, uh, one more thing we need to add in here is we need to set the bullet speed, so b.speed equals, and I'm going to do 15. I don't know what that's going to look like, we might have to change that just to make it look a little better. And we'll want that in every single one as well. Now. I think this will work. <laughs> Hopefully it works. So let's try and see what happens. Okay, let's come down here. And okay, so it works, but it creates the bullets in a funny spot, right? They kind of don't come from the gun. So let's uh, fix that. Let's come back into our three shot here and we will make it create the bullet with y minus four. So that should put it closer to the muzzle of the gun. y minus four and y minus four. 
And another thing I want to do, just really fast, is I'm going to change this bullet sprite because it looks kind of ugly to me. So I'm just going to make um, the bottom part of it transparent. And hopefully that looks a little better. Okay, let's fire this again and let's see if it comes from the gun. Oh, that's close. I think it should be one pixel higher. That's the thing with building game that's like, you know, pixel by pixel stuff. Is It'll look better if this is negative five instead of negative four. But thank you, thank you all for watching this video. Be sure and like, favorite, and subscribe. That should fix it, and this will look pretty awesome for you. So, uh, um, hopefully we can get more of this done tomorrow, start adding in some enemies, and uh, hopefully you're learning from this too. I mean, it's a pretty cool trick, I think, too. Oh, that looks brilliant. It looks really good. Nice. So hopefully uh, we can get some enemies in this and we can start attacking them next and hopefully you guys are having fun and I will talk to you guys later.